There is cautious optimism among some economists that inflation may finally be slowing down. For the first time in more than two years, prices remain unchanged month to month. But compared to last year, inflation is still at historic levels. If you felt the pinch at the grocery store, you are not alone. New numbers show that food prices increased nearly 11 percent last month. So our Pauline Lee live this morning working for your money. She's in Fridley with Mike's Discounts Foods where they're seeing a boom and all morning long just throwing all kinds of interesting stuff at us. Pauline. Right. Isn't that so? We talk about food inflation up 11 percent. That sounds gross, but these prices are going to be music to your ears. It is grilling season. Anyone like any ribeye? You like grilling some ribeye? We got the general manager here, Tony. Thanks for joining us again. Yep, thank so you. you got whole beef ribeye, yep. $7.99 a pound. How much is that going for for average? Well, on average, uh, cut ribeye steak is anywhere from 11 to 12 bucks a pound. So if you buy one of these slabs, you just put a little time in it, you should get 25 to 30 steaks. Ooh, okay, let's keep going now, because I see 99 cents a pound. What is this here? Yep. Ham. Q81, glazed smoke, smoked hams. Um, we actually had gotten quite a bit of it, so yeah. we were going to try to freeze it and hold it until Thanksgiving, and uh -huh. Mike said, let's just give him the deal now. So we yeah. brought it out. and. So now where did the meat come from? Where did the ham come from? It comes from all over the place. Okay. We have friends, mm -hmm. they have friends, so yeah. but we all know each other, so certain people get certain deals and we'll split the load between each other mm -hmm. and they take half and we take the other half. Okay, so you guys pride yourself on deep discounts for brand name products. Correct. Let's talk about bacon as well because bacon is so popular. Yep. So right now we just, because we have so much of this maple flavored bacon, mm -hmm. that we decided to do a case price. So you mm. get a 12 pound case for $35. Mm. Otherwise we're $3.99, three for 10 yeah. on the single pack. Now what I'm looking at, the best sell by date, we're past that best sell by date. But you guys have been doing this for a while. How do you guys regulate that in terms of meat? Yep, so we usually watch it. We usually try to not go past a certain date yeah. for us. Yeah. And then at that point, we'll freeze it yeah. and then we'll continue to sell it. But, but once we freeze it, we usually discount it more yeah. and then we move on to the next item. And you also say some certain meats, they have preservatives yep. in them, right? Yep. So some of your regular bacon's got a lot of salt content. So the package itself again, so yeah. you'll see air will get in there and then that's usually when it goes bad. Okay. So we'll discard that. Otherwise, I mean, there's nothing usually wrong yeah. with it. It all depends on how you cook it. So. Of your six locations, you get more than a million customers every year. Correct. How many, shipment-wise, I mean, how much do you get a day? Uh, and how, so, how quickly does it leave your shelves? Some days we get six, seven semi-trucks just to this one location, and then we kind of divvy it up from here and send it out to our other six. Yeah. Mike considers this Christmas at Mike's every day <laughs> because we honestly, even some of us that have been here for so long, don't know what we're going to get day mm -hmm. to day. But the turnover, depending on the popularity of it, could be half a day sometimes a couple days i mean it just depends on what the item is and i'm really bummed because last week you had a sale on dragon fruit and i missed the sale yes you did so oh. we had about 1800 cases um on average they go for about eight nine dollars a piece yeah. we were two for four dollars so i can't believe i missed it guys okay so if you don't want to miss any deals follow them on facebook we have more information on our website wcco.com but this is a really good way to save some money because one of the things that experts say you gotta cross compare price compare because then that puts pressure on the manufacturers to not raise the prices right. i mean can you compare the prices here mm -hmm. <laughs> right exactly well we appreciate you doing the work for us out there and and mike's doing the work for us all right pauline good stuff thank you